Hey, welcome to Storytime with Gigi. Today we're going to be reading another story from Fancy Nancy's 5-Minute Stories collection. <clears throat> Our story today is called Pajama Day. Class, don't forget, Miss Glass says, pointing to the calendar. Tomorrow is Pajama Day, we shout in unison. That's a fancy word for all together. You may all bring in one stuffed animal, Miss Glass says, and a blanket for story time. We all cheer. We love Pajama Day. I plan to wear my new nightgown. I just got it last week when my grandma was visiting. We went to the big department store downtown. The nightgown is white and lacy. Grandma even bought a matching one for Maribel. I must say they are very elegant. Elegant is a fancy word for fancy. A little while later, the phone rings. It's Bree. She says, I'm going to wear my pajamas with pink hearts and polka dots. Do you want to wear yours? We can be twins. Oh, I say, being twins would be fun. Then I look at my elegant nightgown. What a dilemma. That's a fancy word for problem. So she really wants to wear her new nightgown, and I don't blame her. That's cute. And her doll has a matching one. But she loves her friend Bree, and she wants to wear the one with polka dots and hearts so they can be twins. I wonder what she's going to do. All night I think about what I should do. Should I wear my new elegant nightgown or should I be twins with Bree? It is such a hard decision. Finally, I make up my mind. I call Bree. I tell her I'm going to wear my brand new elegant nightgown, the one my grandma bought for me, I say. Okay, she says. I can tell Bree is disappointed, but I know she understands. Bree is my best friend. She knows how much I love being fancy. <clears throat> the next morning at school... We can't stop laughing. Everyone's in pajamas, even the principal. He is wearing blue and white striped flannel pajamas, and he is carrying a teddy bear. His teddy bear is wearing striped flannel pajamas, too. Miss Glass has on her long pink nightgown with red polka dots. She is wearing fuzzy red slippers. That looks warm and cozy, I tell her. I glance around the room. I am the only one in a fancy nightgown. That makes me unique. You say it like this, unique. Let me look at you, says Miss Glass kindly. What a beautiful nightgown. Merci, I say. Nancy, look, says Brie, waving. Clara has on the same pajamas as me. I look and see that Brie is right. Claire and Brie are both wearing pajamas with pink hearts and polka dots, just like the ones I have at home. Brie and Clara giggle. We're twins, says Clara. And we didn't even plan it, says Brie. Uh-oh, look at Nancy's face. At story hour, Miss Glass has us spread out our blankets. She reads us a bedtime story. It is about a genie and a magic lamp. There's even an exotic princess in it. It is a good story, but it is difficult for me to concentrate. That means I'm having a hard time listening. Claire and Bree lie next to each other. We're twins, Clara keeps saying. Nancy, I think, is a little bit jealous. At recess, Claire takes Bree's hand. 
They run across the playground to the monkey bars. They hang upside down and laugh. Bree smiles and waves to me. Come on, Nancy, she calls. Come join us. But it is hard to climb in a long, elegant nightgown, and I certainly can't hang upside down. Everyone would see my underpants. At lunch, I sit with Bree and Clara. They both have grape rolls in their lunch boxes. I wish my mom had packed me a grape roll. Isn't that funny, Nancy, asks Clara. Bree and I even have the same dessert. I do not reply. That's a fancy word for answer. Pajama day is not turning out to be that much fun. I wanted to be fancy and unique, and instead I feel excluded. That's fancy for left out. Aww. I am so I am sad to say that the afternoon is no better. Clara and Bree are partners in folk dancing. They twist and twirl, they swing and step. They have a great time. My partner is Robert. He trips and steps on my hem. Some of the lace on my nightgown rips. One of my flower clips pops out of my hair. I'm really sorry, Nancy, he says. I can tell he feels bad about it. It's okay, I tell him but I don't feel very okay. Aww. At last, the bell rings. I am glad pajama day is over. I pack up my bag and go find Bree. Do you want to come play at my house? I ask her. We can do whatever you want. By the look on Bree's face, I'd say she has other plans. But Brie can't come. She's going to Clara's house. I know it's immature. That's fancy for babyish. But I almost start to cry. Then, as we are leaving, Brie and Clara rush over. Nancy, can you come play too? Clara asks. All of a sudden, the day seems brighter. Yes, I say. I just have to go home to first to change. I rush home and find my pajamas with pink hearts and polka dots. Now we are triplets. Clara, Bree, and I spend the rest of the day making three of everything. And that's our story. I hope you liked it. Make sure you like and subscribe and share with your friends. Bye until next time.